Hello everyone and welcome back to Aquatics by Nature. This is part five of my little soft coral reef aquarium setup. If you remember last time in this aquarium, the algae was just starting to get some brown sort of diatomaceous algae on the bottom. Well, it's now sort of moved into phase two. Now I'm getting this rather unpleasant green, I think mostly cyanobacteria on the bottom. Uh, if you remember, I was adding a small amount of fish food each day to the tank just to kind of fuel the system along. I think on reflection, the amount I was adding was probably a little bit too much for such an immature system, and that seems to have fueled this algae. Anyway, I've now stopped entirely feeding, so the tank is literally just running on what it built up over that period of time. I think it's been a, probably at least a week since I stopped and definitely this green cyano bacteria seems to be slowing down so I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, with a bit of luck it'll burn itself out once it sort of sucks up all the available nutrients. Uh, but generally speaking these things will work themselves out given stability but it is a bit of a waiting game. And I, I know from experience sometimes you have to be pretty patient with these things. But the real secret is not really to interfere if possible and just stick it out because normally you win in the end. Um, I've also decided to add a few more little coral frags just to kind of help compete for any nutrients that are going. Um, the one that I'm sort of focused on at the moment is just a little piece of Xenia which is well known for growing extremely fast and sucking up nutrients like crazy so hopefully that will help things along. Um, I don't know if you can really see, but I've, there's also much more turbulence in the tank than there was before. Um, I've decided to uh, swap the old 300 litre an hour pump out for a 600 litre an hour. I uh, wasn't that convinced that the old one was creating enough current and surface agitation to make sure I got really good oxygen levels all the time. Um, and being as you need good oxygen levels for decomposition, that seemed to be the right move. With a bit of luck, that'll help the cyano situation anyway. Uh, but anyway, now going back to some of the old things. Uh, the old Kenya tree is actually now opening up quite nicely. But as you can see, the, the rock next to it is rather ghastly. But uh, hopefully that'll disappear in a little while. Uh, there's a few other little frags as well. There's a little cabbage coral. I'm not sure that'll focus on it very well. Um, a little bit of devil's finger, and a few polyps, and a couple of little zoos. But as you can see, there's this rather nasty stringy stuff in various places. Although actually, um, that seems to have di diminished since yesterday. So I think we might be on the right track. It's just going to take a bit of time. Um, but as you can see, it, some of these algae, especially this little gorgonian here, which is new, the algae is actually sticking to it, which is a bit of a pain. So I'm literally once a day just going in with a little paintbrush and just gently dusting off the worst of it just to help it along. Um, but hopefully this phase won't last too long. But uh, other than that, the tank seems to be ticking along. I've noticed an increase in tiny, tiny little things crawling about on the glass now. So it seems to be slowly coming to life. So it's just a bit of a waiting game at the moment for these things to settle down and sort themselves out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.